Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and you might be confused about today's video from the looks of things. This is unlike anything I've ever done for you guys. Hear me out. Let me explain. Today, I want to give you guys all of the tips and all of the ideas that I have saved up and collected and kind of ruminated over about Shadowland. Um, this started with a desire to become uh, Shadowland King of the Hill, the very first clear of Shadowland, the master of Shadowland when it reset. And so I set out on a journey to do a Shadowland speed run. And I made videos about that before if you guys want to check that out specifically. But today what I want to do is I want to pull back the curtain and show you guys how you can take the ideas and take the information and the data that I've um, gathered myself and you can put it to use for yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be listing out all of the possible Shadowland stage that you can see in any given week and I'm going to be telling you which ones are the easy ones in green, which ones are the medium ones in yellow, and which ones are the hard ones in red and I will be explaining why. Obviously I cannot actually show you each stage by stage in Shadowlands in my game so that's why I felt as though it made sense to show the Excel spreadsheet that I used and I have left a link below in the description if you want to download that Google Doc it's not my original creation I did get it from someone on Reddit so thank you to that person who created the original document but all of these additional highlights that I've done and the characters that I've listed over in you know other columns that you can't see right now those are all my own so most of the work is mine or most of the additional data is mine and essentially what I want to do for you guys is I want to develop a greater understanding of why certain Shadowland stages are harder than others even though they're all in the same category. They're all relays or they're all wave modes or they're all boss modes. And essentially I want you to be able to pick and choose the easiest path, the path of least resistance from stage 1 to stage 10 or 20 or 30, whatever it is that you're aiming to get. And hopefully it will help you get a better score and a higher floor score in Shadowland starting in about 10 hours when it resets. So let's jump right in. We're aiming to get to floor 30, but we're going to start all the way down at floor number 1. We have Spider-Man, Captain America, and Black Widow. The Spider-Man floor is the most difficult because of Ant-Man and Spider-Man. Ant-Man has iframes and Spider-Man has crowd control webbing and also lots of iframes. You'll find that most of the time when I'm skipping bosses, it's because they either have lots of iframes themselves, lots of crowd control, or they have some kind of one-shot mechanic or two-shot mechanic that can really destroy you and make it difficult to pass. That's not the case there's no one shot mechanic on floor one but there is the crowd control the Iron Man stage is yellow it's a little bit easier but that is because there isn't a lot of crowd control but there is a lot of iframes Star Lord Iron Man and Vision all have insane iframes and it makes it very frustrating when you're trying to target one of them and they just disappear Captain America stage by far the easiest on stage one floor one um, because no one has iframes very simply put there's some stun mechanics uh, and there's some hit lock and stuff like that, but it's by far the easiest stage and the fastest one if you really want to just blow through it. Stage or floor two is going to be pure rumbles, and this is where people start to panic, but panic not. If you see Punisher, you're all set. It's four combat types, so just blow them away with some blast characters. I think almost any three blast characters at six stars can take down that Punisher re uh, rumble. It's really not that difficult. The Wiccan one used to be the hardest because of the reflect, both physical and energy. Now I would say it's about a medium intermediate level uh, challenge because you do have White Tiger's invincibility, you do have Songbird's stuns, and then you do also have Wiccan snares and silence effects. But it's about as challenging as the Wasp and Red Hulk rumbles. The Black Widow rumble, however, is the worst because of Gamora. Gamora, who I should have tier 2 apparently, uh, has a bleed. And the bleed will basically one-shot you. It will do like 5,000 damage. It ticks for 3 seconds, 4 seconds. And yeah, you can kiss your character goodbye. So that's why it is rated so difficult. On to floor three, relays, again, Spider-Man for the same reason as floor one is going to be difficult. The Sif relay is difficult because Elektra has bleed and iframes, and then White Tiger has the invincibility. Once you get past those two, Sif and Angela are actually quite easy, but the other ones at the beginning are much more difficult. The Winter Soldier and Ronin relays are by far the two easiest ones for floor three and any floors that you see them on later on because there's only three enemies, and it's the second smallest number of enemy relay floors in the game. I would probably say that the Ronin one is easier overall, 
but it's universal so it has a smaller pool of available heroes to choose from the winter soldier one you can use combat types or speed types you just can't really use blast types because you're at a disadvantage against falcon and winter soldier the captain america one for the same reason as floor one is quite easy and then the iron man one is in between for the same reasons they're the same kinds of floors then we have floor four which is a wave waves also panic people out because they're new and they're difficult because you have three bosses or four bosses plus a whole bunch of minions so you need to bring someone in with a particular skill set i'm not touching on who uh, you can use for these different floors because that video would take way too long but let me know in the description or let me know in the comments if you would like to see a, a follow-up video where I discuss actual team-ups uh, because I do have additional data and additional spreadsheets and all that kind of math related stuff on that floor four wave the Maximus one through my testing was the fastest it's about as easy as Yondu and Red Skull but it's the fastest so that's why I gave it the green light vision and Star Lord stages are no bueno the Star-Lord stage has Gamora in Phase 2, or Wave 2 of the wave, with Drax, and Gamora will bleed you with that infamous, like, one-hit bleed. Uh, then for Vision, it's extremely difficult because the first wave is Iron Man and Hulkbuster, the second wave is Double Ultron, and then the third wave is Double Vision. And Double Vision is a nightmare. They're just constantly iframing. It's, this is, it's a disaster. Then we have Floor 5, which is a Rumble. Punisher and Ultron are great. For these rumbles the ultron rumble seems hectic and it is hard because you need a universal villain so it's a very small pool but in terms of the difficulty it's very very low you can actually bring in two secondary characters that aren't villains that aren't even universal types and they will survive until the end because the ultrons do so little damage if you can just hit stun them or crowd control them and you have one main dps like hella even tier one or ronin even who has terrible damage you'll be able to get through it it's just about managing all those tiny little robots trying to kill you moving on to floor six it's another relay now we have a combination of the first parts of the relay with the second parts again same thing you want to hit uh the winter soldier or the ronin uh relays the easiest or captain america stay away if you can from the spider-man or the sif relays of course if they have the rewards that you want like comic cards you may have to bite the bullet but this is just the path of least resistance remember that Floor 7 is a rumble, and now we're seeing some mixing and matching. Again, Red Hulk and Punisher, by far the easier ones, uh, and the Black Widow one is harder, hardest. The Wasp and Lash ones, I think, are a little bit harder because of all the crowd control from guys like uh, Songbird and Daisy, and then on the Lash side from Carnage, Crossbones, Dr. Octopus, stuff like that. Floor 8 is another relay, and now we're introducing a new part of the relay, which is the Thor Ghost Rider Modok portion. Again, you have the same rule set and the same kind of strategy for Ronin, Sif, and Winter Soldier, but as far as Thor and Ghost Rider go, the difficulty is not that bad. I think Ghost Rider is harder than Thor because it's actually four characters and they have a lot of dot damage with fire effects, but the Thor one is actually more like two or two and a half. Groot is there, but he does extremely low damage and he doesn't even heal himself. He casts his spore skill. It doesn't even heal him. It's hilarious. So you just really have to worry about killing Thor and Jane Foster in three minutes without dying. The Modok stage is by far the hardest because you need a villain, which we know are in short supply, and combining Malakith's massive bleed, Bullseye's stun, and then Modok's actual crowd control, it can be a very difficult stage for even tier two characters. Floor 9 is another wave, and now we have combinations of waves being added, but again, you want to aim for Maximus, you want to avoid Vision and Star-Lord, unless you're a masochist. Floor 10, a rumble. Again, Punisher and Ultron are the good ones. We now see World War Hulk being shown instead of the Black Widow or uh, Wasp stages. Uh, the World War Hulk is so-so. There is physical reflect, so you have to keep that in mind. And I do find that you can get hit stunned pretty quickly because all of the Hulks like to attack very fast. They have very fast animations, especially World War Hulk. Um, thank goodness he doesn't have his Gladiator Hulk uniform or we all be doomed. But uh, I don't think it's as hard as the Miles Morales Spider-Man stage. That's five enemies, all with webbing. It's a nightmare. Try to avoid that one unless you want a super challenge super challenge yeah super challenge then we have the Ill uh, floor 11 relay again same rules apply this is very similar to the i believe floor 9 or floor 8 relay that we saw go for this the ronin or the winter soldier skip the sif skip the modok 
floor 12 we're now seeing individual bosses so these are one boss stages some of whom have a flanking of uh kind of minions who will be be resummoned like sif malekith and loki agent venom is special because he only has one other uh partner who's carnage and then destroyer of course it's the two destroyers kind of holding hands and parading through not reflecting energy damage destroyer is by far the easiest one we know about the baron mordo cheese effect and other characters who can just breeze through that i mean even ronin does that stage pretty easily rocket raccoon sif and loki are all pretty straightforward stages i would say rocket raccoon is a little bit easier you just need someone with dodge ignore loki can be difficult because of the freeze sif can be difficult because of all of the archers who have like unlimited range malekith is the hardest one because of the bleed effect but Agent Venom is also extremely frustrating because of all the crowd control. If you get stunned, you can just kiss that stage goodbye. It's very difficult to come back from all that crowd control. Stage 13 is a relay, and we're seeing now new relays coming in. The Sister Grim relay is pretty straightforward as long as you have a good speed character. The She-Hulk relay is the easiest. It's just two characters. There's physical reflect, but just bring in someone with energy damage and you're good to go. It's just her and Jessica Jones. Very straightforward. Again, World War Hulk, MODOK, and Thor, or sorry, Ghost Rider and Thor are just kind of so-so. And then the MODOK one, I find it's a bit too hard. Floor 14, we're looking now at a rumble, and this is the largest rumble with nine different options. So this is where you're going to see a lot of variety. We have see the return of the Black Widow, Lash, and Spider-Man ones, which are by far the worst. Lash now has Reflect, so you have to be careful using energy damage, even though most of your enemies are combat types, so you're tempted to use a blast type with energy. Sneaky net marble. Kaecilius would do well on that stage, to give you a bit of a hint. Uh, World War Hulk stage also gets a little bit harder here, because on top of the physical reflect they hit much harder and they can one or two shot you uh, if they catch you out of an iframe or they catch you out of immunity the wiccan stage without the reflect is not that threatening but again the punisher stage is the one you really want to aim for overall it's the easiest one floor 15 not much to say it is a hawkeye only stage you just have the hawkeye it's the double uh relay or the entry mode where you face three and then three and it's kind of the avengers new avengers young avengers kind of cutesy wootsy thing easy to plan for because it's always the same moving on to the last 15 stages here we go final stretch another relay another point of pride for she hulk trying to smash her down and avoiding modok if you can then we get to floor 17 again malekith you don't want to get that bleed damage agent venom with the stuns rocket and destroyer are the easiest ones sif and loki in between stage 18 is a rumble Lash stage becomes a lot harder here, as I said and I mentioned bef before, because of the reflect and a lot of the crowd control, and the HP is a lot higher. World War Hulk stage I now th I think now gets easier because you're going to be using high level tier two characters anyway, so you're going to not worry about that reflect so much because you're just going to bring in the energy damage and then just sweep. Um, it's kind of in those middle stages when you're trying to stretch and maybe use the last of your tier one characters that that stage can be harder, and I think it gets a little bit easier as you get further along as long as you still have some characters to use otherwise the world war hulk stage can be uh pretty hard then floor 19 we have a wave mode again we want to avoid star lord and uh vision and we want to preferably go for maximus the captain america one is pretty straightforward as well um, but it can be challenging if you get overwhelmed by the mobs floor 20 is three entries but it's always the same three it's not just one you get to choose i usually choose the volstag one because it gives double gold but uh, it is quite difficult i think because of odin and loki although i've marked it as green it's only because the cyclops one is a little bit harder because it's the x-men the hawkeye one might be the easiest overall i haven't done too much testing on that but you can, guys can let me know what you think but overall i think stage 20 is not so bad in comparison to what comes next then we have floor 21 and this is another relay kind of an amalgamation of different relay um, that we got but we no longer have the really e super easy relays like the ronin or the winter soldier again thor and ghost rider and sister grim and she hulk are easier world war hulk a little bit harder and then modok the bad one Floor 22, you're only going to see one of these bosses. So again, it's quite a lot of variants. There are six possibilities. You're only going to see one. We have new entries here with Hawkeye, Kingpin, and Iron Fist. I think that they're all a little bit challenging. Hawkeye has bleed and stun, so he can one-shot you. Kingpin has his summons, and he has those guns that come up and down, which can catch you off guard, and you're not really paying attention. You're just hitting Kingpin, and then suddenly you die because the machine guns chipped you down. Iron Fist can get frustrating if your character... 
um, doesn't have good kind of AoE because you're just doing single target damage to clone after clone and you can run out of time or it can take you a really long time, especially because Iron Fist likes to iframe. And then the Agent Venom one is the worst because of that crowd control, which we've mentioned before. 23, Floor, Rumble, Punisher and Ultron by far the easiest. Stay far away from the Spider-Man one. You know why by now. Floor 24 is another boss mode and I made the Kingpin one harder here because I had more difficulty with it when I tried um, with different characters at this higher level. I know it's only two floors up, but he does more damage. The guns do more damage. They do almost a thousand per hit. It's like 700. Um, and he does have physical reflect that triggers. So you have to be careful if you're using dual uh, cla or dual damage characters, even like Sharon Rogers, you can kill yourself accidentally to that physical reflect. Then we got floor 25, Cyclops. It's the only choice. It's X-Men. Just plan for it. It's hard. I know. What can we do? Then we have floor 26, another boss mode. Same kind of thing. Agent Venom and Kingpin should not be orange. They should be red, but you guys get the point by now. Uh, they're bad and they're difficult because of the reasons that we've outlined, and the other ones are easier because of the reasons that I've outlined. Floor 27 is the entry mode. It's only Dormammu, so... You gotta deal with him and you have to deal with the energy immunity that comes with it with Doctor Strange and Satan and stuff like that. Very hard stage. Stage 28 is the last rumble that you will see and hopefully you will see either Punisher or Ultron because the other ones can be a bit challenging, especially the Spideys. And then the last two stages you're used to by now if you've gotten to the end of Shadowland recently or frequently. We first have the Black Order with Thanos and his goons and then finally we have Daredevil Solo, the one we've been on this entire time probably one of the easier stages. I would compare it to like a early stage 20 or 21 in terms of difficulty. It's kind of weird how it builds up and then drops off right at the end in terms of difficulty. But let me know what you think of this new kind of format for something that we're quite familiar with now, but still is interesting to look at and think about and do these kinds of plans for let me know if you like this kind of stuff or you don't like this kind of stuff and it was if it was helpful to show it to you guys in text form with color coordination or if you would have preferred something else i know this is easier for me to edit but if it's not something that you guys prefer i can change it up subscribe if you're having a good time and of course if you like what you see i hope to see you again tomorrow take care